get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. TV Association, Matthew's Gym Mark Player. I'm at Rocky's Kitchen today in Rockford, and um, with me I've got none other than Kevin the Hammer Mitchell. Kev, how are you? All oh, well, mate, yeah, really good, yeah. Um, so you're getting a protein shake, whatever you're saying? Yeah, I've been, yeah, been out shopping for my little boy Vinny, it's his birthday soon, so I've been out getting him some clothes, some designer clothes and that, and um, we're popping here to see Lockie's um, stepmom, and um, we're bumping into his dad whilst he's here, it's always good fun. And bumped into the Upton Brothers as well. Yeah, and basically bumped into all the Upton Brothers and the Upton clan. I've known them since they've all been babies, so yeah, I've been sitting there, I've had a protein shake, I've been having a little chin weight. Loving it. Um, obviously, no longer boxing yourself, no. uh, but I'm involved in a bit of PT, doing a training the professionals. Yeah. Um, this weekend, big fight up in Manchester, and you've got yeah. your old opponent, Jorge Linares. Yeah. 50-50 fight, how can you see it going? So you should know better than anyone. I just think, if you'd have had this fight four years ago, and if I'd have fought him four years ago, Lonardo would have been too much for the pair of us. But when he boxed me, Lonardo was past his best. I do think this time, man, time is perfect for me. He had a big hard fight with me. I think that must have took a lot out of him. But now he's had a bit of time out, he's got a bad hand. I just think it's perfect timing for him, and um, I think he could stop him, mate. If he works hard, work hard, keeps his head moving, don't walk on to no right hand, he'll be fine. Obviously, he, he defeated Barato, who of the part short against yep. last time, uh, and now he's fighting Lawrence. Like anyone who thought feels like he's fighting everyone, doesn't he? It makes, it makes, it makes sense, though, to be fair. Like, after he got beat by Barato, he gets Barato the shot, he, he didn't have the shot against him. But when I mean, you watch fighters, fight fighters, like when I fought Prescott, I watched press on the car now, I learned from that mistake and I gained from it and that's how I beat him. So he's just doing things basic, it works for him and, and this fight's now he's doing it, it's a few of my old opponents that are beating me, and I think they work for him. Do you think him fighting people that you've fought before puts him at an advantage? Definitely, yeah. It obviously me, he's seen saying that I, I found witnesses in the in the fighters that I fought and he's he's seen him from watching it. Yeah, definitely. Um Another fight on the week uh, coming up is uh, Kovalev versus Andre Ward. Yeah. Uh, big fight in the US. Uh, yeah. Eddie Hearn just tweeted today he's going to be showing live on Sky Sports, so he's managed to get another one under his belt. Yeah. Um, how can you see that fight going? It'll be a good fight, you know, they're both great fighters. It's going to be a tough fight. It's at that level, you can never. I always say, proper top world class fights, fighters, you can never pick who's really going to win. It's like, the 50 50 fights, it's depending on what's happening in camp, and if both their diets have been going, it makes a lot into it. How much worse they've been getting, if they've been doing things at the right time, and also their home activities, what's going on at home, and they've been locked around camp, haven't they? There's a lot to do, but I think it'd be, it'd be a good fight, it'd be an explosive fight with Sky, definitely. And another super fight that people are wanting to see is GGG versus um, Canelo. Yeah. Can you see that happening? I do actually see that happening, yeah, and I see um, Triple G knocking them out. Knocking them out? Yeah, I think I'll knock them out, yeah. So I would say, would you put money on that? I'd put money on that, yeah. I don't bet that on that, yeah. I don't bet about nothing, but I'd bet on that, yeah. Fair enough. Um, obviously, when you do train the pros, then you go into the matching gym yeah. down in Brentwood. Um, a, fighter, some, a few fighters are fighting in Manchester, so yeah. Conor Ben and I know your mate Johnny John Ryder, yeah, yeah. Uh, against Jack Armfield. Uh, um, tough fight. Can you see him win? It's a tough fight. He'll definitely win. Um, he'll get through this time. I think, look, when he got beat by the fight, in the fight he lost. I think, I think he's gonna learn from that. I mean, he'll stop. I think it's a big learning curve. When you get beat at first, big beat losses like that, you come back stronger. I like, watched watch him in the gym a few times here and then. He's been doing he's, he's grafting hard, man. He's working hard. I think mentality wise, it'll make him mentally stronger, so I think he'll, he'll beat this kid, yeah. And obviously, uh, young Conor Young Conor Ben, yeah, I think basically bring him along slowly, let him learn his train, he's so young. Um, get him, let him gain his experience, and I think he'll, he'll, he'll do really well at the sport. I hope to see that. Yeah. Um, another lightweight world champion that people sort of forget about because he's fallen off the radar is Terry Flanagan. Yep. Um, there is talk that if Andy Crowe does overcome this fight on Saturday, that they could potentially have a super fight and then Crowe could have a chance to have three of the world titles at lightweight. Um, do you think that Crow, if he overcomes Lenares, could beat Flanagan as well? Yeah, most definitely. What, what I mean, if he even loses, why don't he get the Flanagan shot down again? The thing is, 
They want Koyla because Koyla is like the biggest name out of them all the minute. But if Koyla gets beat, would they still want to fight? They're just chasing the money fights. I don't, I don't blame them, but you got to look as in Koyla, I think, what's the next best step for me and where's the next biggest payday for me for the right choice? And that's what it's all about, it's all business. So basically, Anthony will up his odds and see what's best for him. Um, as well, obviously, another former player of yours, Ricky Burns, has just announced yeah. that he's got a world title uh, defence against Relic. Um, a fight I'm not even know about. No, Ricky Atten trains him, he's a tough kid, um, durable, can punch a bit, knocks a lot, knocks a lot of people out of him dig. But as I said, like, he's a puncher, he ain't been in with many great fighters, but he'll learn from... Yeah. Ricky, Ricky will learn from watching his, what he does and where he bangs. I'm, I'm pretty, Ricky's been in red man. Yeah. It'd be hard to bang him over. I'll find him if you beat him at once. Uh, a fight that was meant to fight on the uh, undercard of Ricky was O'Hara Davis against Willie Lemon. Yeah. It was going to be O'Hara's being tested today. Lemon pulled out, yeah. He's pulled out now and O'Hara's no longer on the field. Um, why do you think so many fighters are avoiding O'Hara? Because um, he's, he's heavy and man, he's dangerous. I wouldn't want to fight when I was in the day, so... He's dangerous, he's weird, he's got, he's got a weird style about him, he hits very hard. Just, yeah, basically, I don't split, I don't blame William. William on in his prime, in his prime would he give you a hard good fight, but not now, do you know what I mean? William on's older now, like, when you get past your best, you can't no point jumping in with oh, hard and getting up. That's what, that's what would have happened. Yeah, that is true, well, we'll have to see what happens with hard. Yes. There's nothing on the table at the moment, but obviously, big weekend in Manchester, apparently, yeah, I'm sure you'll be wait. watching. Yeah, I'll be there, I'll be there. Alright, and well, Kev, uh, enjoy the weekend. Yeah. Enjoy your son's birthday, happy birthday to Vinny. Cheers. And I'll catch up with you soon. Talk about Pound free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections, and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now.